We're now at the World War II Memorial here on the Mall in Washington, D.C. Still here at the World War II Memorial. Down by the Lincoln Memorial now, as we look across the reflecting pool toward the Washington Monument. We're on the banks of the Potomac now. In front of the Jefferson Memorial now. Walking down Independence Avenue now. Or, uh, I'm not sure what this building is that I'm shooting at, but I'm standing in front of the Department of Agriculture. Across from the National Archives now. Sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue.
6 p.m. here in the nation's capital. Pennsylvania Avenue. We cordially welcome you to Arlington National Cemetery. For your safety, please remain seated while the tram is moving. That's especially important in these open-sided trams. Make sure you keep your hands safely inside as well. Clearance can be tight here in the cemetery. Do hold on to your tickets as well. We operate a shuttle service here. The buses drop you off at the stops. They pick up new passengers and keep moving along. The next bus comes approximately every 20 minutes, so just hold on to your tickets and show them upon reboarding your next bus. There are three stops in the cemetery. The stops in their order are as follows. First stop, John F. Kennedy's grave site, burial place of Mr. Kennedy, location of the eternal flame. The second stop is the tomb of the unknowns, where the changing of the guard takes place on the hour and on the half hour throughout the day, so there's many chances to see that today. And the third stop is Arlington House, former home of Robert E. Lee. Since 1864, Arlington National Cemetery has served as a final resting place for American military men and women. Those buried here represent all five branches of the armed services, all manner of race and rank, and every armed conflict in which the U.S. has engaged. Again, our first stop today will be John F. Kennedy's grave site. He was the 35th U.S. president, and at 43, the youngest man elected to that office. Kennedy was assassinated November 22, 1963. At his funeral, his widow Jacqueline lit the eternal flame, which burns still today at the grave site. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis is also buried here, along with two infant children who died before the couple, a son Patrick, who died shortly before his father, and an infant daughter who was stillborn and never received the name, and down a separate pathway in a grave marked by a white wooden cross lies buried Robert F. Kennedy, the president's brother and attorney general, who was himself assassinated in 1968 while campaigning for the presidency. Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Staff Sergeant Beavers of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Commander of the Relief, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony you're about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Forward, march. Oh! 